Okay, buddy. There you go. Ah, see? Davey, that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers. Celluloid. Good guys. Bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you can say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Oh, Steve, Oh, come whoa! On, please! You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him. Not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Boys, the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit! Mike, this your frequency! That's off me at the end of the walkway, top of those stairs! I ain't going anywhere, Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other! Hey, hold our 12, uh, 9, Freak uh, shit. 3, no, 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 our 12, our 12! Oh, what the hell is happening here? You fucking asshole! What happened to Haynes? He get caught in the crossfire? Don't worry about Haynes! Haynes went the other way! He's probably out! We gotta think of ourselves! You! Thanks! I'm moving! I'll meet you in the courtyard by that fountain! Fuck! You're gonna die! Kill your old friend! It's gonna be me! Oh! 
You here to finish the job, T? No, 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 no. I'm just here for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion! D, run for that stone bench by the pool. Well, I'll come join you. Get him! They're coming out the Mosley building right in front of you. We got an ETD. Keep moving. Really weather bird incoming. These guys don't have a funding problem. Someone do something about that chopper! So tell me, Davey, who are these bureau men trying to kill me? They're a corrupt division. Gone rogue or on the IAA payroll. I'm waiting on you, Michael. Get down here. I thought you were the corrupt division. Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. More Merriweather? Are you kidding me? This is so not cool! to Hades. Norton gonna pop him at the water cooler on Monday? I'm not popping Steve. Jesus. I'll get close to him and I'll try to control him. That's if we get out of here alive. I always said I'd check out the court center. What are Merriweather doing at this party? You tell me. You're the one hitting their planes, trains, and boats. Just trying to earn a dime. Well, your dime put us on their radar, and I don't know how we're gonna get off it. When you get down here, we can go! I'm between the fountain and the reflection. pool, come on! Jesus! Cover! On me, and we'll make a plan to get out of here. Put the weapon down! What a day! in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. And do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. Mike, before you disappear, we need to have a conversation. So conversate. Not here. Meet me behind the pawn shop in Morningwood. I'm taking this one. So long. Great. Another chopper. Was fun. What 
are you doing smoking, huh? Come on, man. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back. Or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell, and I get to spend the rest of eternity with you Tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty, depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There, you happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. I need a cab. I'm sending one out right now. Sounds good. with heels. All right, let's hit the road. That's the ride, my man. Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I on. can't stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. 
What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying the price afterward. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you got to do. Fuck. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah, tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh, shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna find a way in. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One. The front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in, and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way. But I won't be able to cover you. All right, thanks. Don't shoot, and don't get too close. We don't want them to know we're here until we want them to know we're here. Here's where I'm making my play. I'm going right at them. All right, my turn to move. Hey, I got a good vantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. I reckon our best shot is coming at him from two different directions. Maybe. Frank, we'll attack on your signal. All right, let's do this.
where you at? Give us the mouthy one, and we'll be gone! You got a friend of ours! to the unicorn to get horny on your office supply. Hey, we getting out of here, man. Let's go. Shit, homie. You all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga. A real. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lift, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the missing. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you show? Sure? Cause I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs. Talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. 
Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapped. I can make sure I ain't clapped. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stretch sends you out there where they doing a cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them drawers, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga, I mean, Thank you. I guess it's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in a bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? 
Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in a turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, playa? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey! Oh, flossing ass nigga. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather. Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve? He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. That material is imported. The producer does not drive himself to the premiere. Come on! Stop messing around. It's your premiere. A stretch limo. Oh, that's pure class, Jim. Vinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! I don't fucking believe 
Timmy, get back down here! Which makes me a movie producer's kid! Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo, yeah! You see the Street's Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Get back down here. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited. V to the I to the P. Jimmy. Read my necros entitled E N T uh, titled because I am Jimmy. Oh, pop chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look, I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Check it out. It's a premiere. You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up in late. Uh, of course they will. And uh, have you ever uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the thought has uh, crossed my mind, I suppose. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're going to see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Famer Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Huh? Really modern stuff. Uh, pervert. <laughs> come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. What's happening? Where's mom? Come on. The girls might be in trouble at the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole's pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? 
And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right, okay. They'll be fine. This was a nice car. Hey. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Shit, what's that car? All right, Jimmy, you gotta hide. I'm gonna find the girls. Careful, Dad. Daddy's hey, home! You are Stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Clear the building! No one leaves! I told you to fuck off! Frag out! Not yet! Stay put! Neither do I. Just keep calm. I'm fine, Trace. You just stay down, sweetie. I'm gonna drop you! No one's gonna kill you. Daddy's got this. Covering fire, damn it! Are you happy now? Give me some cover! What's that, motherfucker? Got you, you dick. Oh, uh, oh, it's be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> Get the fuck off me. I thought I was on that guy. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. He came to my house, Lester. My house. So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. Nor 
sure is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Oh, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Ricky from Life Invader. Bro, I know you'll find this hard to believe, but it's kind of difficult for someone with a middling GPA and bad references to get a job in this climate. You gotta help me. Hey, if there's something, I'll call you. That's all I can say. Good luck out there. gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. I've been reading a lot about learning to love myself, my hair, and my skin. Is it possible? I might be coming immune to boobies. Hey. Sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back, you two. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all me! All right, enough! Huh? Enough! Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. <laughs> well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, <laughs> out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can, you're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use, the other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, purr, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, 
You've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Oh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored car. Third time working together, why not? And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is gonna be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. Hey, I used them at the jewelry store, I used them at the bureau. I'll use them here. Ah, okay, this one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. Let's take a chance on him. We've been waiting our whole lives for this one. Are you sure you got this right? Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go. Trace? Daddy! Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Because some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy!
I'm off in a couple hours. Let's see that new one, the one that just came out. It's about the finance guys. What's it called? Meltdown. Anton Bartolaire, yeah. A lot of buzz. They're talking statues. <clears throat> Lester, I got the spike strips we need. Good. Now, once we have all the modified gauntlets, we take the score. I mean something where I'm not auditioning for the part of talking philosophy.
Hey, I need a cab. Not a problem. A driver's on the way. All right, thank. The third gauntlet's there. It had work done and everything. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. We'll meet at the strip club. Where can I take you? Strawberry. Sure thing, man. Hey, we're here. My boy Frank! Hell Good yeah. to see you! Hey, man. So we really doing this shit? Frank, come on. Next door. Ah, our network hacker. Uh, don't be fooled by the CRT and the fax machine. The hardware here is state-of-the-art. Cute! Hey, where's the rest of the crew? Outside. Hey, good luck, homies. I'll see y'all at Mission Row, all right? Oh, we'll see you there with approximately eight tons of gold. Four tons, not eight. All right, people, let's go. Get in the car, baby. We are about to make history. <laughs> Come on, we're on the clock. Let's get to the tunnel. This the best you could do? What are you talking about? These fucking guys? They're cool. Look, we pulled that thing with them. It went fine. The Polito score was intense, man. I was on some heavy downers after that. You setting these guys up for a fall? Huh? Is that what this is about? If they're the diversion, maybe it makes sense. This whole treachery thing is new to me. Don't listen to this asshole. It's all good. No one is being set up. I've heard that before. Shut it, Trevor. This is the big one, and fuck me if we don't need any doubts in the back of our heads. All right, the trucks aren't here yet. Let's sit tight. And no need to panic. We weren't panicking. Something wrong? Nothing's wrong. We just gotta wait. You saying don't panic makes me want to panic. All right, here we go. This is it. All right, all right. I see the vans. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Seriously? Let's go. Drop the stinger. Okay, now keep driving. Out! Out! Come on! Get out of the vehicle! Get out! Let's go! Oh, shit. Move your ass! You do not want to die for this shit! Shit. Oh, oh, shit. Your move, buddy. No, 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 no! Get a fucking move on! Come on, move! Hurry up! Just hold on! Fuck! Let's go! Hey! Please, please, get please, these please, ready! Please, please. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, we got a one-minute window before the GPS starts reading abnormal. Ooh, then let the slaughter commence! No, no, Who you no. like? This one. No. Oh, shit. Hey, please, whatever you yeah, need. Yeah, no shit. We need you. No, no. What's your name? Uh, Casey. Casey! Get in the fucking truck. Let's go! Go, Shoot go, it. go! Get in! Let's go! Let's go. Come on! Let's go! Move! Your welfare! Quit whimpering. Next stop, the Union Depository. Shit, 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 shit! Relax, man. I'm the one who should be crapping myself. I'm about to rob the biggest bank on the planet. Fuck! Fuck! Look! Casey! I need you calm. You're no use to me when you're freaking the fuck out. Where you want to be right now is useful. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you like half a minute ago. <laughs> Here you go. Gets me every time. Onion 86 in the building. Eggplant 22 in sight. Stand by.
They're here. Don't do anything stupid. Let's go, pal. Authorization? Good. Good? Good. Access is good. Courtesy, escort is go. Take us to it. Follow me. Things. Uh, good. Yeah, uh, um, uh, fine. I bet the freeway is an absolute B star star CH today. <laughs> Tell me when it isn't. And you gentlemen have to sit in those trucks, bored out of your minds, staring at more money than you know what to do with. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Team is here. You ain't getting through that thing with a chisel. Hey, so you know what to do? Uh huh. Come on. Okay. job to do. Absolutely. Oh, shit. <whistles> Woo! There is a lot of gold in here. We're just holding on to it for the Chinese. Now well, you ever want to keep it in the United States? <laughs> sure, take what you can carry. Uh, hey, come on, come on, come on. We got a schedule. Get yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh. These are heavy. A little over two tons of pallet. Yeah? So what's that worth? Gold's trading at uh, around 1,700 to 2,000 an ounce. 35 ounces a kilo, give or take. 1,000 kilos a ton, so that's... $200 million or thereabouts. Give me a... Yep, that sounds about right. Collection team has the cargo. Got many jobs after this? No, this last one. He's retiring. <laughs> Exploring other opportunities. Hey, you know your chance of an early death increases dramatically when you retire. Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. Hmm. This much metal ain't normal, is it? Quite irregular. Order came down this morning, but the computer cleared it. Well, let's hope no one untoward gets word. That's what you and the rest of the security gets paid for, isn't it? Cargo's in the loading bay. Get her on board! All right, come on. Let's not take up any more of this gentleman's time than we have to. That's it. Let's go. Hey, I'm not feeling so well, and I hey, thought maybe come I could on, just, Casey, you know... suck it up. You can't handle the hangover, Case. Do not overindulge. That's right. This man right here will teach you a little something about moderation. Thanks. No. Thank you. Really. Cargo is gone. Don't worry, Case. We move this metal at Mission Row, and you're all done. Control. 
Pickup was good. How's it looking up there? Not good, man. Mary was know we took the UD. They out there looking for you. Shit. Okay. What can you do? We got this signal I had. I can use it to keep you away from them clowns. Fuck. I hope you got a solution for this problem. Yeah, dog, we own it. Okay, okay, okay. The link's active. Now you can control the traffic lights. Let's go. Good luck. Hey, we got it. Man, this shit seem easy enough. Okay, we in. Man, heavies, watch out! We gotta head east at this junction. We're at a red light. I'm trying, I'm trying! Okay, finally, we got it. Hey, make a left at the junction. Oh shit, more mercs coming from the northwest. Yeah, uh, make a right, right there. We got a green light. Cool, head over this one. We're held up at the junction. Hey, man, they right on your ass, dawg. Hit the indicator, you're going right. Okay, I got more heavies to the west. Signal says stop. Changing. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Now, this is a right, okay? Hey, Meriwether spotted on the south. She's red for us. Give me a second. Hold on. Okay, there you go. Oh, shit, look out. More Meriwether's coming from the north. Meriwether coming on the right of you. Okay, now, we almost clear. This one's clear. You're reckless, Control. <laughs> Hustle up! You guys, redistribute the weight. Here they are! Hey, good work, F. Ah. Damn, I can't believe we got the metal. Damn right, all without firing a bullet. Oh, don't forget so our do chase here, uh, huh? The lead ain't no, gonna no, be please, wasted. No, no, please don't. No, wait. Biggest score of our lives, we ain't taking any chances. Sorry, Pally. T. Well, it no, ain't no, a chance. No, please, please. He's in on it. Huh? Get up. Hey, get up. You tell him something that ain't on the news already. This whole thing was your idea. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. Not a word. Exactly. Yeah, I, I was jumped. I, I, I never saw a thing. Go! You're fucking going as soft as that old blasted boy in your pants. This divorce couldn't come soon enough. Fucking A! Yeah! Hey, oh, man! Fuck! Work first, bicker later, man, all right? Oh, shit! Mary with Mercenary motherfuckers! Right. You, keep loading. We'll deal with this. Coming, people! My baby's gonna be proud of daddy. Merryweather on drugs, why can't I be too? Look out! On the left! I'm gonna hold the front. You dudes take the side. So I guess we're shooting our way out of here. Ah, it was going so sweet! Just fuck off already! Someone's home, you animals! We 
deal with the Merc? We get out! Ajax, no good when you're dead! You ass! Who else would be fucking this up? Up there on the overpass! We got some snipers! Come on, you assholes! God, no! Hold them down! Hey, man, these guys are every fucking weird! Uh, go away! Fucking Merryweather! I don't feel sorry for ya! Hey, they ain't gonna cast the whips! I think that's it! That's the last of them! So much for the bulletless revolution! Man, we always getting fucked with. You! Hold the perimeter. Everyone else, in your cars. We leave while we can. Hey, what's stopping me from riding off into the sunset, huh? With my saddlebags a-bulging, huh? Lester's the only guy who can flip metal without making a noise, dipshit. If you want to try, be my guest. All right, lead the way. On me, people! Calling all units. Merryweather PMC report unit depository. Suspect seems to be being fixed in LED one for me, my people, muscle car. Stay with me! We'll be fine! Oh! The cops are getting frisky! Those guys will take care of the metal. Lester's meeting us at my place. Hang on. We're, we're just leaving the gold. Yepper. Hundreds of millions of dollars worth of gold. Hey, T, have a little faith. What? <coughs> faith? In you, buddy? All right, in Lester, in the process. Come on, we've been through it a million times. Any fool can take a score. It's getting away clean that makes the difference between those who walk free and those who do not. <laughs> man, I wouldn't know what to do with that shit. I'm guessing you wouldn't either, man. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I just have some trusting issues right now, Franklin. If we get away with this, if, and it's a big if, man, then I could finally really retire. Watch it, Frank. Michael likes to retire with a very interesting exit strategy. 
Come on, man. I mean, we just took the biggest score in the history of scores. And you bitches just want to moan. My mama never loved me. My friends never loved me. I'm mad because I'm rich. I'm sad because I'm successful. Man, this shit is pathetic, both of you. Oh, I am so sorry. Hey, we did it, assholes. We did it. Gentlemen! Uh, Lester, we have just made history. Ah, uh, I don't want to ask a dumb question here, but where's the metal? I've got it on lockdown for a few days while I'm waiting for the go-ahead to melt it and move it. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Where is just the point? Let's say somebody gets pinched. Well, then where is the evidence? Or if anyone gets any silly ideas, then they'll just be futile. So we can take it easy, knowing that, uh... It's gonna be a few days before Judas here shows his true colors. Really? Now? Yeah, now, sugar. Why don't you take a moment while you're sitting on that big fat pile of cash to chill the fuck out and realize what's done is done? Whatever you say. Well, this is a good time. That's his fucking fault. Fuck, fuck, fuck you, man! Hey, 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 hey! God. For a couple of Midwest stick up artists, you guys sure have become a pair of whiny West Coast douchebags! What the fuck is wrong with the West Coast? Oh, nothing. I love it here. Everyone's so numbed by the sun that if you use a three-syllable word, they think you're a professor. Man, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, you high and mighty weasel! And you don't talk down them to these fucking idiots! Hey, leave Lester alone! Oh, oh, you and Lester together? Oh, now that makes fucking sense! Oh, for fuck's sake, man! You all are assholes! Man, I gotta go calm down, homie. This shit was real illuminating. Franklin, I'm sorry. Come on back, have a beer or something. I need a cab. Not a problem. A driver's on the way. Appreciate it. Some no 
too good. What? Not me! Where can I take you? Fine with heels? Sure thing, man. Okay, buddy. There you go. Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah! But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C, time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck you. Franklin? Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. Hey, can I get a cab? Of course. Driver should be with you soon. Sounds good. Man, where are you going? At Boro Heights. This is the spot, right? What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting, and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? <sighs> Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the, um... Oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever holy hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right, I say... Kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay, but I, I, I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... 
Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both that you boys are at the foundry in Marietta Heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. to the foundry place. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who want to clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cast, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga, fuck off. Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want to clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. I heard that. Nigga, I'm talking about you. Everybody in this town want to take a pop at your ass. Look, man, Mike on Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. You're 
the building. Watch your sector. Chief, oh, you gotta wait. I didn't have to save your ass just once. Save me? Nigga, I just wanted some company.
What the fuck is going on out here? They're throwing everything they got at us. If we can take this, they'll have nothing left. Uh, are you all right, shit face? Uh, hey, we'll get through this. What's next? Huh? We're just gonna wait around for someone to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned oh, again, huh? Bite me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up for Mark? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Oh, man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. Nah, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground, Wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good.
I'm clear. Your pal Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. See, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? We got Wei Chang and Agent Haynes on the list. Moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this frame drive? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. So, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Is Los Santos. Great American melting pot. Two parts. Jesus, fantasy, what one a part freak! Mix. This is the result. FIB agent, and you've got a unique look at what's really going on under the hood. Oh my god! The guy! That's his name, he shot him! Jesus Requesting backup for a 187 at Del Peril Pier. Season reported as FIB agent C T. Proceed with caution. Suspect is a possible 918 with this. Lester, I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Who's next? Hey, the boy Chang. Don't worry, I'm on him. here. He's leaving the Beast Club. I'm gonna do it now. ain't gonna have no more triads coming after. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey-ho! Who's next? I'm picking up Devin Weston so we can have some fun with him. Now don't worry, I won't get started till we're all together. Not properly, at least.
Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Enemy operative in the vicinity! Some help! You're gonna die! What do you mean all our operatives are dead? Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! Got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes, yes, that's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on, come on, let me out of here. Look, I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, yeah, a, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a steak and give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. I'm gonna get you! You don't want the fat man around either. This is why the people I put in my trunk are usually dead.
You're a dead man! This is why people want to kill you! You won't shut up! Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Good tea? Never better, amigo. Uh, Franklin? I'll be here. <coughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshore? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would you going want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. 